Is offense the best defense or does defense win championships? Today we're here to find out. I've created two spectacular all-star teams, one full of all forwards, one full of all defensemen, and they are gonna duke it out in a playoff series to see who emerges victorious. Jeremy Swayman will be backstopping both teams, just a random goaltender pick, but you have to have the same one for consistency. This will likely be my last video of NHL 24 because NHL 25 is now right around the corner. Go ahead, let me know in the comments who you think is gonna win. And on that note, let's get it started. It's time to find out who is going to take game number one. The forward's kicking us off here with an attack as Nate Dog tries to cross it. It doesn't work, but he ends up getting a shot of his own. That one is saved. But you know what's not saved is this little dish off from Hughes over to Uyghur. It is 1-0 for the defenders. Forward's trying to tie it up before the break, and they cannot do so. Swayman's all over it. The forwards actually won't score their own first goal. Yeah, you heard that right. I don't know who that is on defense, but he just nutmegged his own goaltender. You absolutely hate to see it. Tie game heading into three, but that won't last very long as McDavo hands it over to Kucherov, and he's going to send this one for a one-goal lead. Back the other way is the defenseman, and a massive save by Jeremy Swayman to keep his team up. I mean, he plays for both teams, but he failed to keep his team up by one right here just over the oven mitt. And speaking of Swayman, how about this series of events? Saves Nate Mack, saves the ones, I, don't, I can't keep up, I honestly can't. The very first contest is going to require OT. Artemi Panarin, the bread man, carries it in, goes for a pass in the middle, and who else but Kucherov to give his team a 1-0 series lead. Can the D-men tie it up or will the forwards take a devastating 2-0 lead? The D-men are actually doing a pretty good job of getting offense going. Dobson's going to get the first goal here right over the left mini wheat of Swayman. Forward's going to have a chance to tie it up as a double commit. Leaves a guy right open in the middle, but it's not going to go. And we'll see another series of saves here from Jeremy Swayman. This guy is on one. Team is shorthanded, and he's saying not today. This one's kind of weird. Miro's going to take a shot as he's getting hit. I mean, it was a swish, though. Nothing but net. Celebrates with that goal post. Fair enough. And how about we roll for you another Jeremy Swayman highlight reel. I don't know what this guy is on right now, but he is making some spectacular saves. Two goal deficit for the forwards and they have a good look here as Barkov is almost able to thread the needle, but he just can't get there in time. Very unfortunate for him. The defender's gonna go down the other way. Miro, being a good guy, passes it off to Hamilton who misses, but then picks up his own rebound anyway. Great job on the forwards there playing defense. It's also Christmas for Nate Mack because he received a present from Jeremy Swayman. Guy has been an absolute unit and then he gives that donation. But it doesn't matter, his team still wins. Series is all tied up and we got a best of five on our hands. Bouchard behind the net, dishes back to the point. This is going to be saved with some theatrics, almost a rebound, but no dice. Jack Hughes going to take matters into his own hands. His pass in the middle gets blocked, but he's like, you know what? Hold on. I'm just going to go get this real quick and score. And he does. Jacob Slavin also going to get robbed. Cooch continuing to be a presence here as he takes the puck wide and gives a beautiful pass, but that also is not going to go. I don't know how he pulls off this little Houdini act, but Evan somehow gets by both of those forwards, gets a shot off, but an easy glove save for Jeremy. Game gets all tied up from Sydney the Kidney, a one-timer that had no chance of being saved. Forwards trying and failing to extend the lead before the third. Now in the third, Kale McCarr going to go down low to Rasmus Dahlin, who's going to put this one in on the back hand and get his team within one. The lads are not done there. As the puck goes in the middle to Victor Hedman, he roofs this one. It is a tie game just like that. After all their efforts, it might be in vain as a unfortunate attempt to gain the zone results in a Kucherov breakaway, but he is not gonna score. What a save. However, with just 15 seconds left, McDavid is going to crush their hopes and dreams, puts the nail in the coffin, and gives his team a 2-1 series lead. The defenders need to tie it up here, otherwise it's a little spooky. Speaking of the defenders tying it up, 
Miro gonna find Dougie Hamilton and he buries it one nothing for them and they're gonna make it two nothing off of another passing play here Rossmus goes and honestly Kale didn't have the best shot there Swayman probably should have had that this first period is out of control Victor Hedman just narrowly avoids getting destroyed actually you know what he probably could have firmed it because he's a big boy so he could have taken it but he scores forwards finally gonna have a chance here they're on the power play McDavid gets sprung he's on a breakaway and he can't score yeah right game's unrealistic but they end up scoring anyway past the scores and past the dishes a dish of pasta maybe alfredo boom oh you thought this first period was over well guess again miko ranton in three seconds left puts it on and somehow barkov just manages to squeeze it in all right, we can take a nice breath of fresh air after that first period. That was a little bit outrageous, but we survived. We're here. It's a tie game, and this is going to go in. Unfortunate way to score. They don't ask how. They ask how many. The D-men not wanting to go down 3-1 in this series. That would be very unfortunate. A chance down low is going to be saved. Miro gets by his guy. Goes to Dougie. We've seen this before. That's going to be saved. They'll get another spectacular chance as Kirill panics. Gives it to Kucherov who then sends Bouchard in but saved once more. They will get the empty netter and it is a 3-1 series. The defenders cannot afford to lose another game. Pretty ideal start for them. Hughes' shot is going to be blocked, and it's going to find its way onto the twig of Evan Bouchard. He makes it 1-0. Forward's trying to clap back. JT Miller dishes it off to Seb. Over to Barkov, and we almost get to see a home run. If you thought the first period wasn't eventful, wait till you see this second one. Nate Dio double G hits the post, and then we've got another chance for the forwards here. Barkov. Oh, what a save by Jeremy. Pappy getting rinsed along the boards. He somehow finds Kale McCarr, not his teammate, but it worked out that way, and it's a 2-0 lead. Wouldn't last long, however. Set play off the draw. That is a beautiful goal. They're within one. Miro almost got teed up by Sidney the Kidney, but he avoids it, gets the empty netter, and keeps his team alive in this series. Once again, the defenders must win or it is all over. They would be the team to strike first. Yossi over to his D partner, Fox. I mean, they're all defensemen, but those two are actually playing defense. Ekholm able to narrowly avoid a hit. Has a two-on-one over to Hedman. That is going to be saved. Opportunity in the dying seconds. Matthews dishes it off. That goes down low to Mac, but they can't complete it. The forwards will break the ice in the second period. Pasta goes for a low shot, and Nate Mack, who had the chance at the end of the first there, finally gets his goal. A front porch opportunity for Dougie is saved by Swayman. Tie game in the third period. Kale McCarr streaking in is going to take a shot. It doesn't go, but then Rasmus Dahlin somehow, I don't know, I think it was like Crosby and him combined for that. What does the Fox say? Has his pass broken up, otherwise that probably would have been a goal. Defenders giving the offense a free lesson here. A give and go, beautiful play, but the goaltender is not having it another chance for the defenders to push seven in regulation but Quinn Hughes is robbed all the forwards need is one goal and they are champions but the defenders are really putting the pressure up they do get a good chance here a spectacular save and the game is going to end on another weird one Petrangelo kind of fanned on the shot again I have no idea what happened there but we do have a game seven ladies and gentlemen it all comes down to one final game for the chip. Defenders with a chance out of the gate as Hughes passes over to Rasmus, but that is going to be stopped. This will not be stopped. Crosby takes a low shot. The Breadman is there for the rebound, and he kicks his leg up. Forward's going to extend their lead. Crosby getting another point. Pasta gets his own rebound to make this thing 2-0. The D-men will strike back late in the second period. A pass finds Ekholm in the middle. That was not the best shot in the world, but it went in. Forward's going to show us what a good goal looks like. Spectacular passing, and they reestablish that two-goal lead. The defenders' backs are against the wall, and they just can't get it done. Chuck E. Cheese receives a pass, and he's going to one time at home put this game out of reach and ensure that the forwards go home with the championship. It did go to seven. It was a great series, but the forwards ultimately prevailed.